सिकंदर शाह ने अपने पिता की तरह उड़ीसा पर आक्रमण करने के लिए अपनी किस्मत आजमाई लेकिन इस बार नौ सैनिक का उपयोग किया ताम्रध्वज राज्य के उत्तरी गंगा सामंतों जैसे हिजली काशीजोरा मैनागढ़ ने हरिचरण दास भुया के नेतृत्व में अपने सेना इकट्ठी की और सप्तग्राम बंदरगाह के पास नौ सैनिक नाकाबंदी की बड़े पैमाने पर लड़ाई की परिणाम स्वरूप सिकंदर शाह की सेना तितर बितर हो गई और सप्तग्राम पर हिंदू सेना का कब्जा हो गया इसके बाद सिकंदर शाह ने चंद्रकेतु और हाथियागढ़ राज्यों को अपने अधीन करने का प्रयास किया सैयद अब्बास अली जिन्हें गोरा चांद के नाम से भी जाना जाता है के नेतृत्व में इक्कीस रेजिमेंटो ने राजा चंद्रकेतु पर हमला किया Hathiagarh and Banai River after the Sena reign lower bengal was divided into several independent territories or janapadas these independent towns resisted against the muslim invasion by fighting fiercely for a long time one of them was hathiagarh after the rule of maharaja dakshin rai sam sena kings extended their dominion over bhati region under raja chandraketu sen mahidanand was the naga clan ruled the forts of hathiagarh durganagar छत्तर भोगे शिंगुल बेदे एंड चंडीपुर अहिने अनेक ग्राम राखे साधु बाला छत्र भोगे उत्तरिल अवसान बेला त्रिपुरा पूजिया साधु चलिल सत्तर अम्बुलिंगे गिया उत्तरिल सदाकर नीलमधो पूजा करें तत्पर ताहार मिलानी साधु पाइलें हेते घर से ही दिन सदाकर हेते घरे रय रजनी प्रभात करी मिली सात नाय कविकंगन चंडी लोकेशन अफ हाथियागढ़ इन चंडी मंगल द पोएट कविकंगन मेन्शन दिस टाउन अफ हाथियागढ़ एज हेते घर बिलोंग टू द एंशियन वर्धमान भुक्ति इन द बनाई रिवर बेसिन ऑफ द वेस्ट बैंक ऑफ वंस फ्लोइंग आदि गंगा दिस इंडिपेंडेंट टाउनशिप कंसिस्ट ऑफ फाइव गॉड According to Devi Shankar Mitra, an antiquarian and prominent Sundarban historical researcher, the first of these was what is now known as Shingul Bede, the second as Chondipur, third as Chhatrapoga in Barshi, fourth as Durganagar, and fifth as Pandul Bari that is Sri Narayanpur. This fifth fort is famous as Hathiagarh. The discoverer of Sundarban's history, Kalidas Dotto, mentioned the location of Hathiagarh fort in his map of Adi Gangas. Its massive ruins still exist today. In the 14th century AD the king of Hathiagar town was Mohidananda of Naga descent he was most likely a vassal of king Chandraketu Sen he left the country in the hand of his two heroic sons Akananda and Bakananda and spent his days in the Saibamat of Barashi inscriptions and other antiquities inscription of Hathiagar architectural remains bricks inscribed with flowers and inscriptions several Vishnu idols Harihar idols and a few stone shivlings have been found in the area adjacent to the Hathiagar ruins A huge stone shivling was found inside Hathiagarh and brought up by the local Thibors and installed in the nearby village of Kantai Mena and is still worshipped there. Two inscribed seals recovered from the ruins with the words Sri Snag and the other with Sen Yogya Sambhar. Mohidanand he was most likely of Naga descent. Abbas Ali's campaign. Mohidanand's eldest son Akanando was in charge of Shingul Bede and Chondipur forts. His Anuj Bakanando guarded the forts of Hathiagarh and Durganagar. In 14th century AD starting from far away Makkah visited various places and bought 21 waliyas and other mercenaries along with Hazrat Sayyid Ali Abbas Raza 21 waliyas mean 21 regiments of 21 peers Abbas Ali Raza came to Raikola village in Lower Bengal to spread Islam Hazrat Sayyid Abbas Ali's complexion was milky white so the new muslims of bengal named him goragaji or peer gorachand list of the 22 commanders sayyad abbas ali mohammad sa darab khan abdullah ahmadullah daud akbar lafiqul alam sayyad laid hamiduddin qurban ali sumeduddin ilia sayyad abdul qayyim abdul naim abdul ahmed hosain haidar mohammad kafil hazrat abdul fazal abdullah awal mohammad hasan abdul latif Muhammad Kaif Chandraketu Gad According to folklore he declared war when the Hindu subjects of Devliya or Devalai village are forced to convert into Islam 
battle of champatala governor of gaur sikandar led a war against king chandraketu on the side of the pathan warrior meer gorajath fought from the side of the hindus joyswain was leading the force the battle took place in the wilderness of rankala in champatala where king chandraketu's two favorites hama and dama practiced warfare king chandraketu came close to winning the war someone among the ministers betrayed to the king the king was attacked inside the fortification while uttering the name of allah sword of joyswain ran through the throats of the muslims during that time he became seriously wounded on the other hand some parts of the walls of the forts broke through jaisen gave his life while resisting the massive force although king was alive then but a traitor sends false message to demoralize the towns people the towns people were enraged and the queen drowned in poddudaho and committed suicide when this news reached the king the king lost his morale and accepted defeat in battle defeated king chandraketu returned to the kingdom and sacrificed his life at paddada Gorai Ghazi or Sayyid Abbas Ali forcibly converted the subject. Balanda Mahavihara was one of the important study center of Buddhist in South Bengal. It still existed in Bala and Senarut. While the attack of Gorai Ghazi, it broke the Buddhist stupas and established the Lal Masjid over there. Munde hue siro ke saath, bhikshu ke seb, dharti par pade hue the. Talwar bhale aur tiro se sajjit, videshi akranta, vishwavidyalay mein ghus gaye. भिक्षुओं के पीठ पर भाले से प्रहार किया गया ऐसी विभस्त वर्वरता पूर्ण कार्य स्थानीय लोगों ने कभी नहीं देखा था वे बचने के उद्देश्य से पूर्व की ओर दूर दूर तक भागने लगे Attack on Hathiagad. Gora Ghazi heard about Hathiagad after the victory without a fight. He heard the bravery of Akanando and Bakanando. Gora Ghazi set off for Hathiagad with his companions. A war broke out with Akanando and Bakanando. Several Muslim poets write poems and stories about their war story in the 18th century and later. Shufi Shah Imanuddin, Munsi Namatullah, Muhammad Ibadullah, Kettabi Mia are notable among them. A young man named Abdul Jabdar Haldar of Beluni village gifted poem researcher written about Gora Chand. Let's listen to the story of Akabaka's war from the perspective of these poems. Hete gode jaye na gora ma diye chhe badha. Hete gode jaye na gora achhe haram jada. Gorai Gazi wants to go to Hathiagad but was promised his mother that he would not go to Hete gode. Battle description of Puthi Patro. But Gora Chand hears about Akanando's exulation. नाम अमार आकानंद बाकानंद अमार भाई पे शिविर बर रोज करी मानुष आहार मजबूत शक्त देहजार जे खुशी आशुक केह देखाइब मजा ताहार गोराचाद कुड नट बियर द प्राइड After that Gorachat initiated forceful conversion of many local people into Islam and advanced for the south. He left the horse and hold to Hathiagad. First came Beluni Akanand the lives at the fort of Shingulbede. Pete said to Akanand with a shy, Shingulbede devlote karmo jomidari ghar pichu khar khao desh thor hori. Geostrategic location of Shingulbede was very much important for the sultan to attack on Hijli. That is why Sikandar wanted Shingulbede at any cost. Battle of Barasid. And then he said, "Accepted Islam, sin will be free. You will be forgiven." But Akanando did not agree. Fierce war between the two sides. Akanando, Bakanando, Rabuner, Shala, Tar Shongi, Juddo, Hilo, Ostop, Prohor, Bela. Gora Chand had a brother named Sah Chand. He brought soldiers and ambushed the Borasi fort. Raja Mahinanando, the old ruler of Hathiagad, lost his life in the war. During the war, Akanando heard the news of his father's death. He was shocked, and suddenly an arrow went through his heart. He died in the battle. कांदे बकानंद राय मुखे केवल हाय हाय द मिनिस्टर एडवाइज्ड हिम जाओ बड़ा सिर माथे थाके सिर सेई घटे भोलानाथ गुरु कल्प तरु आचेतार बन सोरो जुड़ी सेई बाने गोरार भांगबे जारी जुड़ बकानंद रन आफ्टर हिज फादर देयर ही किल्ड शिवा एंड टुक पोजीशन ऑफ 16 पेयर्स ऑफ एरोस द हरी कौरा वर्ग क्षत्रिय पुंड्र सोल्जर्स स्टार्टेड फाइटिंग एडर्स देन रिन्यूड एंथुसियाज्म द वॉर स्टार्टेड अगेन The water of Banai River turned red in the fierce battle. Bakanando had his final battle with Gora Chand, and at the end of the battle, he fell half dead by Bakanando, and he threw with the ban given by Shiva on Gora Chand. Akane shonge judo hilo heno kalle. Akanando Bakanando Rabuner Shala tar shonge judo hilo arai pukh bela. Kijani Allah murji no shiver peer cheko bane Gora Chand er kata galu che. Gora Gazi ke praning away in a crocodile shaped boat in the Banai River with his neck cut. Banai suddenly swelled up his calm chest waved like a palm tree Gorai fell on the bank of Banai Gorachand continued to make mistakes during his death he kept cursing the river 
ডাউট পড়ে হবি কুড়ে না থাকিবে বল জোয়ার ফাটা হবে বন্ধ যাবি রসাতল চাষি জন তোর বুকে জন্ম দেবে ধান বাকানন্দ ফাইনাল ব্যাটেল ইস গোড়া চাঁদ ওয়াজ ফট অন দ্য ব্যাংকস অফ বানাই রিভার অ্যান্ড আফটার দ্য ব্যাটেল হি ফেল হাফ কিল্ড বাই বাকানন্দ হাউ এভার দ্য মেন স্ট্রিম অফ দ্য সুন্দরবনস দ্য আতিগঙ্গা হ্যাজ বিন ডাইভার্টেড নিউমারাস রিভার্স হ্যাজ বিন ডিসঅ্যাপিয়ার্ড বাট বানাই স্টিল সারভাইভস টুডে হাউ এভার দ্য নেভিয়াগিলিটি অফ দ্য রিভার হ্যাজ বিন ডিক্রিজড Muslims believe it is due to Gorachand's scars. Wounded Gorachand was brought to Balanda. He said, Khatosthane dao paan shur ki lagai ya akuni dekhi be shab Allah ri doa. But no one could find anything. No one in Balanda gave even a drop of lime or bitter leaves to the tyrannical Muslim rulers. Gorai Gaji died in Barakpur in 12th Falgun Balanda in 1371 AD. Even today there are some memories of Banai. There are ruins of the Hathiagar fort. Shiva of Barashi is victorious. Even today in some houses of Beluni village, Muslim girls read Gora Chand's Puthi in the evening but the fighting spirit of Akananda Bakananda did not find a place in the history text